regular sauna use is probably one of the most powerful stimuli that increases both growth hormone and prolactin. So uh, growth hormone, the effects of sauna use on growth hormone levels really depend on many factors, including duration, temperature, and frequency. So for instance, two 20-minute sauna sessions at 80 degrees Celsius with 30 minutes of cooling period in between can double growth hormone levels um, basically from their baseline. On the other hand, two 15-minute sauna sessions at about 100 degrees Celsius, dry heat, separated by a 30-minute cooling period can cause a five-fold increase in growth hormone levels. So there's also a really remarkable effect um, when you do sort of repeated sauna use. So repeated sauna use, for example, you do one, uh, you do two one-hour sauna sessions at 80 degrees Celsius. This is very, 